not just rain, but wind, lightning, thunder. It's a thunderstorm. These are exciting, maybe even a little scary, right? Now imagine flying on an airplane during a thunderstorm with lightning out the window. The plane is shaking. Now, luckily, this rarely happens, and that's because pilots do everything they can to avoid thunderstorms. They've got a good lookout from up there. They can spot bad weather up ahead, so if a storm cloud is in the way, it's usually possible to fly around it, or sometimes even climb higher and fly over it. That is precisely what this guy tried to do on July 26th, 1959. His name was Lieutenant Colonel William Rankin. And what I'm about to tell you is a completely true story. William Rankin was flying from Massachusetts to South Carolina, USA. He'd been told to expect thunderstorms. But this was a jet fighter plane capable of flying higher than any ordinary plane. So he figured that if he did run into a bad thunderstorm, no problem. He could just fly over it. Just a few minutes before he was about to reach his destination, he saw this huge puffy cloud in front of him. He'd seen clouds like this many times before. Now, to someone who didn't know better, you might even think the cloud looked inviting and friendly. But William Rankin knew that its looks are deceiving. This was no friendly cloud. It was a very certain type. And he knew this was a kind of storm cloud that he should avoid at all costs. It was enormous, extending nearly nine miles up into the sky. This cloud was taller than the tallest mountain on Earth. Still, he figured he could fly over it which should have been fine, unless, well, you know, unless something really terrible happened, like his engine stalled and the plane stopped flying or something. And that's exactly what happened. Well, directly over the top of this cloud, he heard a loud bump and a rumble from the engine. The engine had stopped. A warning light was flashing. Okay, stay calm, he thought. He'd practiced for this kind of problem. All he had to do was pull a lever and then the backup engine would come on. But as he pulled it, crack, the lever broke off in his hand. There was no backup power. He was going to have to eject or parachute out of his plane and let the plane crash. He jumped from the plane, falling, falling out of the sky. But as if things couldn't get any worse, he looked down and saw that he was still right over the top of the cloud. William Rankin was about to become the first human being ever to fall through a storm cloud with nothing to protect him. As he entered the cloud, his skin turned red and frostbitten from the severe cold. High above the earth, temperatures are incredibly cold, minus 58 degrees. That's as cold as winter in Antarctica. His parachute opened up, which gave him a moment of relief, but only a moment. Just then, a huge bolt of lightning flashed behind his parachute. Lightning was now striking all around him. The thunder was so loud, it made his entire body rumble. Ten minutes had now gone by. During a normal skydive, by now, he should have parachuted safely to the ground. But he was still up in the cloud. And worse, now he was being pelted by huge drops of frozen rain, what's called hail. Some of it was the size of golf balls. Each piece of hail was hitting him like it was like being punched. He was getting bruised badly. He couldn't wait to be out of this cloud. But just as soon as he'd fallen a little bit farther, a strong upwards breezing wind would push him back up into the cloud and hail would beat him up even more. He was getting beaten up by a cloud. Finally, after what seemed to him like forever, he reached the bottom of the cloud and fell safely to the ground where he landed in a forest. He was alive. It felt like a miracle. He looked at his watch It read 6.40 p.m. Not only had he just become the first person to go directly through a storm cloud, but because of the violent upward-blowing winds, he'd been stuck inside the storm cloud for 40 minutes. Looking back up at the sky, this is what William Rankin would have seen. He'd fallen through a type of storm cloud called a cumulonimbus cloud. They're puffy and enormously tall. They even look kind of friendly and fun. But even though William Rankin's experience of falling through a cumulonimbus cloud was incredibly rare, these clouds themselves are actually not that rare. In fact, they're one of the two most common kinds of storm clouds. And chances are that they sometimes form near where you live. What about you? What's the worst storm you ever experienced? 
Have you ever experienced a thunderstorm coming toward you before it arrives? What clues would you look for to know if a storm was coming your way?